Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford, Oregon, and we're going to update you on the precipitation and snowpack that we've been seeing recently in this, what we might call an amazing April or astonishing April so far. So if you're viewing this on a phone, you can turn your phone sideways to get a little better view or kind of the landscape view. And here's what we're going to talk about. First, how much precipitation we've gotten. What does this mean compared to normal? Or where are we compared to normal? And are we going to get more precipitation? The wording we've been using for this event in early to mid-April, very beneficial, but not drought ending. We're in a multi-year drought, well below normal when you account for multiple years. So even if we're approaching normal in some areas for some variables, parameters, like snow depth or something, we're, we're not ending the drought with this. Uh, very unlikely. But it is very beneficial, of course, for water supply and uh, the landscape in general. How wet has it been? Here's a, on the left, we have uh, Southern Oregon, Central and Southern Oregon. Here's Jackson County, Curry, Coos, Douglas, and Lake County, and Klamath County. And then on the other side, we have uh, Siskiyou and Modoc County of Northern California. So you can see the systems we've had have been mainly, the trajectory has been from the Northwest or from the West, and that favors uh, areas from the Cascades and Siskiyou's north and west. So Douglas, uh, the Umpqua Valleys, parts of the Rogue Valley, Illinois Valley, and the coast have seen a lot of precipitation compared to normal, compared to a normal week in early April, whereas other areas have seen below normal precipitation because these systems don't favor them. That is changing as we speak. As I'm looking at the radar right now, Siskiyou County is covered in precipitation on the radar and it's pushing into Klamath and uh, Lake and Modoc County as well. But uh, until today, it's been focused north and west of those areas. For snowfall, we like to look at Crater Lake. It's, kinda, it's, it's got a long history of observations, and it's a very good uh, observational record, high cascades done by the, the kind folks at Crater Lake National Park as cooperative observers, and it's been very helpful. So we did not get an observation today, uh, perhaps power outage or something else, but we are estimating that we are about right here where you see that asterisk. Um, the last observation was up to 72 inches, but we've had a good bit more. So it could be as high, maybe by this afternoon, up to close to 100 inches snow depth. We'll see soon, but that makes it, uh, that approaches the normal line. You can see normally snow depth decreases starting in early April, but we're increasing. So this is, uh, this is fantastic news. But as we zoom out, we're still much below normal for the amount of water in the snowpack for most areas, but we're trending higher. So I'm going to shift our screen over to the other screen, we're going to show you, here's our website, weather.gov forward slash MFR. And you can see, uh, here's the radar image showing, again, covering a lot of areas in precipitation right now, especially in Siskiyou County. So that's very good, mountain snow and low elevation rainfall. And if we click on the snowfall and depth, we're going to choose this link here which shows some detailed basin imagery for snow water equivalent or how much water is in the snowpack. And you can see just very poor, 22% of normal in portions in Northern California here, 66% of normal as you head into the coastal basins that feed in the coastal rivers there, Oregon and Washington coastal. Um, I mean, we could just say this is Southwestern uh, Oregon, but the point is, if, if we uh, if 
we choose April 1st, you can see the value has increased 50% of normal to, to over 66. So, so that's beneficial, still low, and not much change in Northern California yet through the 12th. But uh, places are improving. You see the colors change to the north of us there. So that's good news, but still multi-year drought, well below normal in snow, snowpack, not expecting to bump way above normal in all areas. We're going to move back to the other screen here. How long would this last? The vast majority of models, you know, when you look at 100 different model solutions, you know, more than 70% suggest that we're going to continue this active, wet, and rather cool pattern through April 23rd through, through the next weekend. That's about 10 days from now. So that's good news. It's not going away. And how much water are we expecting? Here's the precipitation amounts expected through the next seven days in our forecasts. And again, look, most places are covered in precipitation. You can see Northern California, they get on it too. And much of this will be snow above 5,000 feet. That ends our presentation. Thanks for your time and have a great rest of your week.